Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, we will discuss, how to create and configure Java servlets using web.xml. A Java servlet is a server-side program that runs on a web or application servers. It services HTTP requests and returns the results as HTTP responses. Let's move ahead to NetBeans 8 and see how to create and configure Java servlets using web.xml. Friends. In order to create a servlet, let's create a web application. Right click on Projects tab, and go to New Project. New Project dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java Web and, select Web Application in the Projects list. Click Next. Moving ahead. New Web Application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as, Application 1. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. NetBeans 8 comes with a Glassfish Server 4, we will select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. You can add other servers as well. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash application 1. Click next. Moving ahead. It asks us to select frameworks. Just click finish without selecting any frameworks. In Projects tab, Application 1 gets created. In order to create a Java servlet, go to Application 1 root, right click New and click on Servlet. New Servlet dialog box gets open. Enter Hello World Servlet in the class name text box. Provide a package name, here it is com.hubberspot. Click Next. Configure Servlet Deployment section of new Servlet dialog box gets open. Select the option, Add Information to Deployment Descriptor, web.xml. It will create a deployment descriptor having info related to class name, Servlet name and URL pattern. Click Finish. Hello World servlet gets created in the source packages, under com.hubberspot package. Hello World servlet has few methods generated by NetBeans. These methods are, do get, do post, get servlet info and process request. Get servlet info is to provide information for servlet. Do get is for HTTP get requests. Do post is for HTTP POST requests. Both call NetBeans process request method, depending on the request, and passing in HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response. In process request method, we first set response content type to text and HTML, it provides information to the response, that it is a plain HTML. In order to create a HTML response, which browser can understand, we get print writer object from response. Using its println method we create a HTML file as shown in screen. And, and remove content from h1 tag and write hello world. Moving ahead. Open web.xml file in web pages, webinf folder. This is the deployment descriptor and helps in configuring servlets of our application. It has a servlet tag, this tag registers and configures servlet to the web application. It has two tags, servlet name and servlet class. Servlet name provides a name to servlet, in our case it is hello world servlet. This tag provides servlet a canonical name, which can be used as reference in web.xml file. It also has tag servlet class. It is the fully qualified class name of the servlet, 
in our case it is com.hubberspot.hello world servlet. There is also an important tag called as servlet mapping. It defines a mapping between a servlet and URL pattern. It has two tags, servlet name and URL pattern. Servlet name is the name of the servlet to which URL pattern is being mapped to. This servlet name tag is used to map servlet class to URL pattern. URL pattern tag helps us to resolve URLs. In our case, it's slash hello world servlet. After host and context root of application URL, it matches it with URL pattern, and pass it to servlet class associated with it, using servlet name tag. In our case, slash hello world servlet URI is mapped to servlet class, com hubberspot hello world servlet, through servlet name tag, which is common to both servlet tag and servlet mapping tag. Let's go ahead to hello world servlet and run it. It starts Glassfish server. It builds and deploy application 1 on Glassfish server. It then runs hello world servlet on web browser. If you see the URL in the browser, it helps us in understanding the flow of web application. It has a host and port at start. In our case it is local host and port is 8080, where Glassfish server is running currently. After that comes the context root of the application. In our case, slash application 1 is the context root. After context root, whatever comes, it is a URL pattern. In our case it is slash hello world servlet. Web.xml file is scanned for this URL pattern, if it is found, its servlet name is identified based on it. This servlet name executes hello world servlet class associated with it. It prints hello world on the console as expected. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to create and configure Java servlets using web.xml concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.